here before. I was here many years ago when I, I danced uh, for the first time uh, with the stars of City Ballet and American Ballet Theater. So um, I have beautiful memories of that. But um, yeah, and then I came again. But this is the first time I'm actually coming to teach. So that's different for me. I started ballet when I was seven. It was from the very first day I was so focused and I took it so seriously and I think it's so important that the training I think it's so important to uh, the early training especially um, for the kids and, uh, because it's the base for what you're going to have as a career or not but at least you know and it's very very important I think it's uh, for me, for me at least, it was uh, very important. And you see it, you know, through the years. You see it with different people's career. You know that you have, you can see a lot of talent. And it's such a shame when you see like so many incredible talents really badly trained. And it's such a huge mistake. It's such a shame because you know you can go back in time and uh, you see sometimes a lot of talent and. It's very rare, you know, you don't see that every day. So you have to really, really be careful and try to really um, cultivate that, you know, that training, that early training that really um, is what is going to stay for the rest of their career. So I'm, I usually think that the most important thing is uh, uh, education, you have to train, you have to have good teachers, and I think that's really important. I know that. Yeah, formal training, hmm, that's interesting. I started at seven. And for me, that was great. Uh, I have to say that whatever I think the kid wants, they need to do. At least that was my mom's point of view. She always told me, whatever makes you happy. And for me, it was such a great thing. Yeah, first I, I told my mom when I was seven, I have no idea, even today, I have no idea why. I, I wanted to dance, so I told my mom, I want to dance. And so my mom sent me to uh, I don't know, like uh, dancing with like fabrics and improvisation, and I loved it. I was like dancing with my fabrics, and but then I told my mom, I was like, but I want point shoes, yeah, point shoes. I want ballet, and she had no idea why. Nobody in my family is a dancer, nobody. So it was interesting. I, my mom and dad used to like always listen, even today, a lot of classical music, and I used to dance all the time. So, um, music was always involved in you know my house. But nobody in the, in the family is a dancer, so my mom was a little surprised why would I pick dance, but she said, okay, fine. And that's why it comes to luck. She was, I was very lucky, she sent me to a beautiful studio, and it's a very well-known teacher in Argentina. So my mom, I mean, of course she, she asked around, she's like, oh, I want to send my daughter to like a nice place, a nice school, and they told Olga Ferri, that's my teacher, is very, very famous. Um, so she knows about the studio, so she took me there. So I was very lucky to to go to her from the very beginning. And I have to give, you know, all even I always talk about her and how important she was in my life. And because from the very first day, she completely guided me in, in such a great direction. And and that's what I my point of view is like, in, you know, teachers are so important. You no, know, the only thing I knew from first day that I loved it. From day seven, and now I see like kids from like seven years old, and there's no way they can know anything. But I, I was, I knew I wanted to be a dancer, and I would be sick, and my mom would tell me, "Okay, you're not going to ballet class," and I would just escape and run, and was, I wouldn't miss class for anything. It was, and I think now it's like it's unbelievable. It's the same way I feel today. I mean, I don't miss the class, I love taking class, and it's the same passion I had, you know, when I was seven. But it's, uh, it's pretty incredible that, you know, it was, you know, I was very focused. So when you're asking me about age, I don't know, at seven, I just knew. I knew exactly what I wanted. But some kids, and that's why I say sometimes it's not very good idea to tell them to go too early. Yes. Why? Because ballet is very strict, it's very disciplined. So if you ask a kid to be at three years old, four years old, to be so strict, they will just go one day, two days, and it's like, oh, forget it. So maybe a little older, so they, they really can, you know, they're conscious of what their decision. If they really want to do something like that, that it takes discipline, or maybe it's not for them. But sometimes they love it, but if they start too early with such a intense um, 
maybe it's too much. Well, I trained, of course, at the Cologne Theatre. Uh, that's the main um, theatre and it's an official company. And of course, I did all the training there, but that's like uh, the public uh, is, is professional. It's an official school, so I did. At that level. Yeah, so I did all the training there, and that goes with other, not only ballet, but they, you know, you do um, history of ballet and music and. So it's, a, it's like a Russian training. I wanted you know. to ask you if your yeah. ballet school was also yeah. your academic yeah. school. No, no, not completely, but it has a lot of other things because it's like the whole morning and then you go to, to regular school. But um, So I did that and that, of course, all the big names came from that school. Okay. And then my teacher also, um, but uh, I think they're in you know Paris, they're like all over, the Royal Valley, Paris Opera, so my teacher had, you know, a lot of students well, in different. I think it's it's great that I'm always been very happy about that. That I could travel, I can travel all over the world, and I don't speak the language, and people understand me anyway. And uh, that's great. It's a great way to communicate with people, to be able to, you know, to share and emotions with people that you don't even speak the same language and it's pretty incredible and to share in the in this thing of about culture especially in American Ballet Theatre that's my company ABT uh, it's incredible we have so many different nationalities and we all do the same ballets but we do it so differently and that's the great thing about our director that he always emphasize that, that you, you know, we also do the same steps, same choreography, nobody's changing anything, but your own um, cultural background, your own style, you know, some people are more Russian, some people are more French, and more you know, Latin, it's whatever your, your background, your schooling was, and he respects that, and that's what makes it so interesting, that's what makes it, because you won't see the same performance, yeah, you go see Giselle, you're going to see Romeo and Juliet or Don Quixote, but every performance you go see with a different dancer is going to bring something unique, and it's, I think it's great, you know, to respect that in personality, not to have everybody, you know, have the exact same, exact same way, so. I think that's very, I really love that about it. I don't think this was ever a doubt in my, in my mind. I always, I, when I was even seven, people, what are you going to do when you grow up? And I was like, a dancer, you know? So it was like, no doubt. So, um, but I, I, I think it changed, a big, huge change in my life was when I was 15 and I came um, to New York to, um, to SAB School of American Ballet. It was a big change because, you know, I was supposed to study for a few, for a few uh, months. I was supposed to be there for six months and then go back to Buenos Aires, where I'm from. And that was actually the plan. And um, I was very happy with the whole experience about being in New York at 15, studying in such an incredible school for my camp ballet, such a famous thing. And I was really happy. And it was, it was over. I had done the workshop at SAB. I was just, I couldn't ask for more. I was just very happy with the whole New York experience in six months. And I was planning to go back to Buenos Aires and had my flight and everything. And the day before, I heard there were auditions for ABT. And I was like, I'm 15 years old from Argentina. They would never take me. But I was just dying to just see how the dancers were. Or I was 15, and during that season that I was at SAB, I was I used to go all the time to ABT and watch the performances. So I remember like seeing Sylvie Yem and Carla Fracci and all these people dance at ABT. So when I heard, I was like, okay, I'll just go and just just yeah, just see them and see how they, who they are, these incredible people who are my idols that I will watch forever on videos when I was at home. So I did that, so I went, 15, I didn't even have a pair of like decent point shoes because everything was packed, so I went at the audition and the director told me I give you a contract for the Corte Ballet. The director? Yeah. And uh, I think that's one, one of the most incredible experiences of my life, yeah. And it just changed my life, you know. I mean, I became from a student to a professional to being one of the most incredible companies in the world. From living in Buenos Aires with my family to just live somewhere else completely. And just it just changed. I didn't speak English at all. And while I was at SAP, I was in a bubble and I just wanted to dance. And so it was just 
opened up, I was like, okay, now I really have to live here. I mean, it was a life changing experience. And it's one of the, those moments I would, I remember just leaving the audition and just crying and <laughs> screaming. And of course, at that time in New York, it, it was very normal to see like people just like <laughs> <laughs> jump around and just like, you know, but um, yeah, it was, it was pretty incredible. And, and then, parents with the news. yeah. Yeah, Did I signed the well? contract and then I call. It's like, hey, you know what? By the way, <laughs> I'm staying here. <laughs> so I actually took the flight the next day, but with my contract in my hand, and then I was just coming back and just starting. But uh, my parents were just always, they, I guess, they knew, and they always, it was, an, it was an incredible trust between us. And I know they always wanted me to do whatever makes me happy. So I knew they were going to be happy. And when I told them, they knew it was my dream coming completely like just to come true and they were just so happy and maybe a little long younger than you all yeah. expected <laughs> yeah but I think yeah I think they knew from very from when I was very young I was just very focused so I think they, they knew they weren't going to stop me it was just something that I always it was just a dream that I had you know so they were so happy and my relationship with my parents was just incredible it's just very close and that's a matter of the distance we and your parents are still in Argentina yeah they're still in Argentina but, but they, they come to all, all the time to oh, New York really? they come see me and and I go home very often and but um there's something that I always for me it worked and I think that's my uh, if I have to give advice for parents with you know with a younger it's just to give them the uh, the freedom to really, if they love what they, they should go ahead and, and if they don't, don't push because it's such a, um, you know, difficult career. I can't say that. It has given me all, all what I wanted. I mean, I couldn't ask for more. I love what I do. I feel so grateful. Uh, um, it's an incredible career. So if you love it, just go ahead. But to push somebody who's not really uh, into it is very difficult. I don't know if they if you, they will make it. You really have to have a lot of passion and you, a lot of energy. And you really want to want it because it's a lot of work that I don't take as work because I love what I do. You know, I love I you know I, I love to wake up in the morning and go to class and rehearse and perform. I just love it. But if you don't, it's a lot of work. So. I think the most important is to really respect that. I think that's because even you can push it a little bit, but at some point, if you don't have it in your heart, it's not going to work out. I wish I had an answer. I wish I had an answer. I wish I could say, if you work really hard, doesn't matter, you'll make it. But that's not true. And I wish, I wish I could say that. If you work really hard, you'll make it. Like. Like any other career, like if you study, if you study hard, you'll, you know, by ballet, it's, it's not like that. You need a lot of things. You need the challenge. You need the, the, the really wanted to do it, the, the effort, the work hard. You need something special that nobody really knows what it is, but makes you go on stage and, and make all the, you know, eyes go. And then some people have all the time, but nothing's really happening and you don't know why. But so there's so many things that really, you know, sometimes people have the talent and they work hard and then their brain doesn't work very well. And then it's just their whole career goes, you know? So there's, uh, I wish I had an answer. That's, 